Hello guys, my name is Edith Maloko, an international student in the United States of America. If you're a new subscriber and this is the first time coming across my channel, you're highly welcome. Thank you for sticking around and thank you for subscribing to my channel. So today I bring you guys helpful tips that will help you succeed in your F1 visa interview. When you apply these tips, I bet you you're going to work out with a white paper, you're going to work out with an approved visa in case you're preparing for your f1 visa interview these tips is going to come in handy if this content is of interest to you you can sit back and continue watching so let's get right into the video guys tips number one do not avoid eye contact do not avoid eye contact when talking to the vo when you're talking to the vo make sure you look confidently look straight into their eyes so that they will know that man this girl or this guy he knows what he wants so do not bend your head like in a shy manner just look straight into their eyes and talk to them Looking straight into their eye will make them know that you're confident about what you're saying. It has a long way to go during your interview. So second on the list is to speak clearly. When you talk, ensure that you speak clearly. Let the viewer understand what you're saying, what you're talking about, articulate your English in such a way that they will understand you. The VO won't be like, please, can you repeat yourself and you end up talking and talking and by the time you know it you're talking off point by the time you know it you that don't used to stammer we start stammering so to avoid this make sure you speak clearly to their understanding if you stammer make sure you tell the vo explain your situation to the vo and i'm sure they are very understanding they are going to listen to you and take it slowly with you third on the list please ensure you go early for your visa interview if you're going for your visa interview do not make that mistake of going late <laughs> you don't want to like going late you just disorganize you and it might end up affecting your interview so let's say your interview is by 10 a.m please make sure at least latest by 8 45 you are at the embassy because um, going to the embassy, you're not just going straight to the VO to be interviewed. I mean, there are some processes you have to go through before your actual interview. There are some security checks, some document presentation. There are individuals there that will check your documents, check your passport before your actual interview. So please make sure you go early to avoid unnecessary panic, unnecessary worries that will end up getting you devastated. You don't want to be devastated. You don't want to feel down, feel frustrated before your interview. So ensure you go early for your visa interview. Next on my list, please be able to speak confidently. Express yourself confidently. You know, when you talk confidently and express yourself confidently, the VO will sense this, like it's not going to be hidden. If you're scared of talking and not confident about what you want to say or what you're about saying, it's going to show, it's, fat, it's going to be written on your face. So ensure you express yourself confidently, ensure you talk confidently, and this is going to increase your chances of getting your visa approved. The fifth on my list is ensure you make your intent known. Tell the VO the real reason why you're actually traveling. What is exactly the reason why you're coming for this visa interview or why you need this visa? Be able to express that, you know, make your intentions known. Do not beat around the bush. Come out straight and direct about your intentions. Ensure that you prove to them that you're a genius student. Let your intents be known from the onset. Do not appear to be, let's say, do not make the VO to start suspecting. Are you sure this guy is a student? Are you sure this girl is a student? Like, is she actually going to the United States of America to go and study or for something else? So please let your intents be known right from the start. Another point is that you should ensure you have a strong home tie to your country. Um, Working in a company with the intent of going back to the company to take up a new position, a better position, is a strong home tie. But please, when it comes to those points, ensure you have 
a letter stating that you're coming back to work in that company when you're going for your visa interview because um, they might ask you do you have any proof for this thing you're saying to ensure you have you know a letter for that there are different types of home home ties you know having um a land in your home country is also a strong home tie having families in your country is another strong home tie you have a, a successful business in your country you have companies in your country all those things are home ties that you have with your country and it doesn't show any intent of you running away from your country I just research check yourself and you will discover that you have so much home ties to your country so don't be scared about that please carry all the proofs of whatever you're going to be saying to the embassy if you want to tell the VO that um, you're going back to your company to work after your graduate school please have a letter saying that if they ask you um did you take the gre the toefl exams and you actually took the gre and toefl exams please come with a copy it's going to prove that you actually took those exams come with the proof of whatever you're going to see if your uncle your auntie is sponsoring you whoever that is sponsoring you, make sure you come with their bank statement to show that they're actually sponsoring you so another point on my list is be concise when you speak make your answers short the VO don't have all the time in the world to listen to you there are other candidates to be interviewed too you're not the only one so please be concise like when i had my interview my interview was no more than one minute it was just in seconds and i got my visa so just be concise about everything you're talking about do not talk about so many things too much grammar and you end up making the video to ask you more questions because it's from what you say that they ask you more questions so be concise and smart about it another point to note is please go with all the necessary documents do not forget anyone at home. It's going to get you devastated if you forget anything at home. Imagine you forgetting your passport at home. Just tell me what will happen and it's already close to your interview. A day or two before your interview, you can get a file and put all the necessary documents in it so that you won't forget anyone. So just make sure you carry all the necessary documents, get a file, put all your documents into the file then when you go there, you're sure that whatever they're asking of is inside your file. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to make another video on the necessary documents you're supposed to take with you to the embassy for your visa interview. Avoid not going to the embassy with documents that are required. Trust me, it's going to weigh with them. Make the necessary photocopies you need. Print everything that is required of you to bring to the interview with you because um, you want to forget anything. And secondly, when you get to the embassy, let's say you're supposed to make a photocopy of, which let's say photocopy of 100 Naira, you end up paying 1,000, 2,000, 2,500 just for a photocopy. And also check your passport requirements because um, the passports that you're going to be using for your visa interview, it's not those normal passports that you take for other purposes. There's a different requirement for the visa interview passport. So what you're going to do is check out all these things because if you go to the embassy and you discover that the passport that you're using or the one that you have with you is not the requirement, you end up taking a passport at the embassy and it's going to cost you a lot. Probably not less than five thousand there just for four copies so avoid this mistake another point to note is that ensure that you've been doing something tangible before your interview because the vo is likely to ask you what you've been doing before now if you've been at home let's say you don't have any job you've been at home doing nothing that's a sign of not coming back to nigeria because <laughs> say just that is a is a red flag it doesn't matter the pay even though they are paying you thirty thousand twenty thousand at least it's something it shows that you're working and you're not actually jobless 
so ensure you have a job going on it mustn't be a paid job it can be a volunteer work where you're working for an organization and you're not being paid it could be that you're teaching it doesn't matter as far as you're not jobless sitting at home make sure you're doing something before your visa interview it shows you're a serious person it shows you're not running away for lack of unemployment it shows that you're a genuine student another point to note is please dress comfortably do not wear something that will make you feel uncomfortable if it's a abada that will make you feel comfortable wear the abada anything that will make you feel comfortable put it on do not put something that will make you feel uncomfortable for example maybe you now put on a very short clothes then maybe when you're walking you'll be dragging it down feeling uncomfortable and all you expected to dress um comfortably i mean when i went to the embassy i saw people on trousers i saw people on gowns there's no um particular dressing per se just make sure that you you're dressing comfortably and smartly dress smartly dress comfortably look smart look sharp like a student you know what i mean so just dress nice you know put some perfume you know smell nice <laughs> please don't look tattered or like a beggar when you're going for your visa interview be able to prove to them that then i'm not suffering like i'm not <laughs> so please don't you know wear some nice clothes you know look nice and all no matter the type of clothes you have just wash and iron it and feel comfortable in whatever you wear and you're good to go another thing is to maintain a positive attitude be positive about getting your visa don't have any negative you know any negative thoughts in your heart just be positive about it and you'll be surprised things you just come out fine the way you expected it to be even before you leave your house don't say am i going to get this like I, are you sure I'm going to get this visa you know start questioning yourself just be positive about it and pray about it and I believe that if you're positive about it and you have a positive attitude towards it i believe you're going to get your visa approved if at all you're going to forget all these things i said please do not forget this point when you're positive about it it's going to show all over you it's going to boost your confidence level so please do not neglect this point so lastly trust god pray about it pray 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 do not remove God from this journey. I mean, God is the ultimate. In fact, he should be the number one when it comes to this. Ensure you trust God, pray about it, and you know, put all your trust in him. He's not going to disappoint you. Even though you've gone before, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying till you get there. There's no harm in trying. I know people that have gone for their visa interview three times, four times. Even five times before they got their visa approved. So some people are just so lucky to go once and get their visa approved. So do not feel bad if it comes out bad. You actually have a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance, a fifth chance. It's just your money. Just keep applying to get it approved. So please do not remove God from this journey. Be positive about this journey. And you know, things will just come out fine. So guys, that brings us to the end of this content. I hope this content helps someone out there. I mean, when you apply these tips, I believe that you're going to have, uh, you know, get the visa approved, you know. If you want to be seeing more of this video, let me know in the comment section. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to share my video. Liking the video is going to help me know the kind of contents you want me to be creating for you guys. I wish you success in your visa interview. Go and make yourself proud. Go and make your family proud. Love you guys. Bye.